and circumstances that we are faced with. So we're speaking to them too, let them listen to us, let them hear us. Yo, hello? hello? So guys, if you are okay, following so Liberal TV Network, today. this is the Liberal TV Network. We are right there in the We have where an elaborate joint press conference. I'm about to address uh, the a press on ISO training issues in Kinjo. The workers of here mounting at about this hour. So we will <coughs> call on Comrade, compatriot, Comrade, Amma Gray, one of the leaders of the protest to introduce the high table as we will speak and introduce the rest of you up there if the time permits. Thank you so much. So if you are following us, we are still here in King I'm Francis getting up a comment here live. Like. One minute silent. So guys, we are still here in of recent there have been numerous of protests in King The protesters are yeah, and they have some trending national issues to address the nation and also the press. So at this point, uh, it's a moment of silence. Thank you. Obviously. Uh, first of all, you people are happy to welcome the King Joe. Uh, on my left, this member, Ed Osoro. The travel head, uh, Ibu. Advisor, no. uh, Spookman, Yatama, Adama D. Hinflender, Vanny John, Edda, uh, Ama M. L. Gray, Advisor, Honorable Chairman, Boris Kiazulu. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. We want to welcome each and every one of you and to say thank you for coming. And we want to recognize your presence here from the community and all of our youth who are here today, our women. They, uh, we are not seeing um, the chair lady, uh, but I'm chair lady. Uh, I think you, you need to be seated. And so we want to say thank you to all of you. My name is Shafa Manoba Jenica, one of the uh, lead protesters. And so we have come today here in solidarity we have also come to inform the world. And that official statement will come from the official sports pricing of this movement. And who have been blessed by the elders, who have been blessed by the youth, who have been blessed by our women, who have been blessed by the traditional people here, the tribal people, and as well blessed by the imam and the pastoral network of this movement, and also by the honorable chairperson. So we take the chairperson uh, for one minute uh, before now we can officially uh, commence this uh, all important joint press conference. Mr. Chairman? So that was the voice of one of the protesters. Uh, we guys, we are still in Grand Cape Mac County to the Pacific King job. First of all, you are welcome. We welcome the media on this all important platform. This is King Joe. If you are Muslim, the most is here. If you are Christian, uh, we have the church right across the road there. So all of you people are highly welcome to listen to or carry our uh, petition or what you call it, press conference live. You are highly welcome. But thank you very, very much. That's the voice of the Honorable Chairman. So we now, so now the have the, the opportunity the with the blessing of the council, the chairperson, our women and the young people it is now time that I invite onto this podium the official sports president of the protesters here, the citizen and worker of BMMC, Honorable Thompson uh, Katama, will read the official press statement for this all important uh, joint press conference today. Honorable, you are welcome to the podium. Thank you. So guys, at this point, this spokesman is about to read a press conference. Uh, we are here in Mr. King Barney, Grand Cape Bar County at the, for this hour to bring your life happiness. A vassal on the Grand Cape Bar County and King Joe record protest, Mr. Adama B. Hint, <laughs> consultant on our committee, Mr. Ama M. L. Gray, one of our advisors and also consultant on our committee as well. We have Mr. Solomon Y, head of the 16th ethnic group in Kinjo. We have 
Madam Elizabeth Pai Famula, who happens to be the chair of the Resettlement Action Plan. And then we have our Renaissance Chairman, Maurice Kiazulu. And I'm Thompson Mahatma Kiatama, and I'm serving as a spokesperson of the Grand Cape Mount County and Workers Protest. So members of the press, the citizens of King John, Diablo Clan, Gola Connect District, Grand Cape Mount County, and also citizens of the Republic of Liberia. We have come together today to read our press release or have a press conference with the press from many of our stations in Liberia and the IF presence to carry us live. So we start with our press release. Citizens of Grand Cape Mount County and workers of Beer Mountain Mining Cooperation, King John Massacre and Petition 1, special release, April 1, 2024. For immediate release, distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, fellow citizens and workers of BMMC, a very warm welcome to our joint press conference on the status of the, of the protest in King George Gulakone District, Grand Cape Mount County. May we all rise and observe a moment of silence for our fallen compatriots and young colleagues who lost their lives in fighting for the emancipation of the citizens, workers of BMMC and the federal community. Thank you. You may have your seat. We learned from the Minister of Labor of Liberia about the findings of his team, which was deployed to King George to investigate our demand for the removal of Mr. Deba W. Allen from BMMC as its country manager and recommend Mr. Sandewin as his replacement. Similarly, we recommended the appointment of Mr. Heron Vincent as community and government relations manager and the reinstatement of Mr. Samuel Robert as RT officer, chairman of the BMMC Workers Union. These demands are non negotiable. 19 out of our 38 counts are labor related violations. On March 27, 2024, at the Ministry of Information, Culture, and Tourism Affairs press briefing, the Minister of Labor declared to Liberia and the world that the Turkish gold mine, BMMC, had violated several provisions of the labor law the decent work I, and flagrant disrespect of the law of Liberia and outline the following. One, that his team of labor inspectors discovered 185 illegal alien workers at the BMMC plant without permit. Two, that the system of equal work for equal pay as provided by law has not been following, followed by BMMC, incited a librarian earning a Monday income of 350 US dollar while his alien counterpart performing a similar job was earning 3500 monthly. Three, that the BMMC Liberian workers assigned underground were neither permanent employee nor provided life insurance benefit as required by law. <coughs> Four, that the BMMC will be invited to a conference and be informed about the violations of labor law and the associated fine to be paid to the cover of the government of Liberia. Five, the alien workers of BMMC were entering Liberia from Sierra Leone to our border side border entry and onto BMMC King George operation site. While the identified discovery are not screen news because it is normal at BMMC, and we have already communicated this experience in count. We are concerned that the Minister of Labor failed to address any discovery on international safety-related standards, including the, di the disastrous workplace, lack of proper personnel protection equipment for workers, lack of escape route for underground miners, lack of refuse chamber every 10 feet, lack of healthcare facility in the mining town of Kinjo, where BMMC draw most of its workers, lack of accommodations for workers and their dependents, Lack of vocational training, local and international scholarships, primary and high school education facilities, and transportation of workers, dependent, and etc. Having 185 undocumented alien workers in, a, in, a, in your country is a national security issue and must be treated as national security priority, especially in light 
of the development in our sub-region. We suspect that more than 185 undocumented aliens are working for BMMC and call on the government to do more. The fact that our team was cut off from participating in the site investigation, we have reasons to believe that some evidence from the investigation that we are excluded from was compromised. We call for stronger government actions. Four, we recommend that the 185 be turned over to the Ministry of Justice for prosecution, including all involved. Five, that that is 185 job for librarians were illegally taken away. Six, we should not be hearing the Ministry of Labor calling BMMC for a conference on violation. Deba and his HR participator should be sent to court. These are benefits which BMMC have denied workers for more than 10 years. In fact, at BMMC campsite, there has many as two to six workers sleeping in one room. Some are sleeping under the bare floor at BMMC operation site, but the minister never addressed these anomalies as violations of law and rights of workers. Why? Instead of addressing the labor counts, he went on to lecture about responsible government and student government. Mr. Minister, the people of Cape Town and the workers of BMMC are mourning the tragic loss of three young Liberian residents and are saddened that their government torn away from them. Since February 28, 2024, our emotional wound and injuries from police brutality edges. Liberians have been treated as second-class citizens in this country and by their governments. The interest in profit-making concession is placed above and agree populations of Liberia who believe that their votes in recent general and presidential elections were going to make a difference in their life today. Three Liberians died from the government bullet fired by state securities in the protections of BMMC against protesting citizens. IT under the authority of Article 17 of the Constitution of Liberia for their rights. It has been taken. The government of Liberia nearly a month to send out a so-called interministerial committee to investigate our petition. And West, the government spokesman, Jeremy Mengpia, dare to bring petition and West. The government spokesperson, Jeremy Mengpia, dare to bring protest as anti-investment. We wonder what Minister Pia has to say after that the Ministry of Labor has, so, has, has done so far. We wonder how Minister Pia think we were successful at beating 133 years of one party rule in Libra in 46 registered political parties today. Minister Party, you are directly benefiting from protest. Stop denigrating it because it is seeking to, to bring project benefits to project affected communities, workers, and their dependent family members in Cape Mount County. A responsible government investigate before it make a public statement. The public utterances by Minister Pia and the Police Inspector General Gregory Cobo on the day of King John Massacre were infantile and distinguishable from practices of by an irresponsible government. To government is transparency and accountability. Why is the killing of three librarians exercising their constitutional right not investigated up to now? Where is the police that was allegedly killed? And where is the artisanal arm? RG spokesman spoke about the protester allegedly used. Police cover up is a crime. Grand Cape Mount County should never be a practice ground for such a shameful and diabolical act. We lost family members to unprofessional state police officers working for concession years against the people they took off to protect and defend. In fact, what are the state security doing at the BMMC concession when citizens and residents everywhere in Liberia are in much need of safety? The purpose of Wednesday special conf conference organized by the government of Liberia spokesman Jeremy Mepia for the Minister of Labor is undermined by the initial government pronouncement on the King John massacre. And at the best, the press conference was shared public waste of time and resources by the two ministers, including waste of man hour of work by all the attendants. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, for the last 10 years, Deba Dobby Allen 
and BMMC have been blind to the various forms of labor-related violations and human rights abuses discovered by the ministry team. And this whole special, specialized committee set by Speaker Jonathan Fonati Kofa reported as well. All of this happens on the watch of Mr. Deborah Allen as country manager. The people reaffirm their commitment of a vote of no confidence in the performance deficit of BMMC country manager and demand that he be put away and our recommendations of Mr. Sano Wayne, a qualified experienced son of Cape Bound, be welcomed as a sound and reasonable replacement. Based on Mr. Wayne's successful record of private and public service in Liberia and abroad, we are of the strongest conviction that BMMC and Cape Mount will be better served under his leadership. It is time for relief in Cape Mount, and not a time to remind us of the reasons why the government of Liberia lost the Galena territory, once part of Cape Mount to the British in the 18th 20th century. In closing, If we lost freedom here to live and work with benefit consistently with the Decent Work Act and MDA, there is no place to escape. We will return to protest in 72 hours. i say this again. If we lost freedom here to live and work with benefit consistent with the Decent Work Act and MDA, there is no place to escape. We will return to protest in 72 hours and stop every movement of supply of BMMC in King Door. We will have no choice but to launch Operation Shutdown. BMMC at all locations. We say this without fear and favor. God bless the citizens and workers of BMMC, our media partners, the investment, the government, and the people of Liberia. Our demand in this regard remains non-negotiable. Thank you. God bless you. So, that was the voice of the spokesperson, Mr. Katamba, addressing the voice in the audience within King Jokola County District in Cape County. I'm Princess Kedi Kupa coming to your life. And we're also told that the demands are not met within 72 hours. Four questions from the press. And then we will ask. Do one or two persons from the public uh, to be able to uh, speak to uh, some issues in one minute. So you have from uh, from which? Uh, I'm Francis K. D. Copper. I report for the Liberal TV Network. I my concern has been joined to the. My concern has been joined to the alleged 185 uh, aliens workers. I, I want to know, my institution want to know, are you mean a concern about aliens and what about the research? Uh, do you, did, did you actually get any results uh, regarding any foreigners as to how many foreigners working with uh, BMC? Also, I, I could remember two weeks ago, the, minister, uh, the, the, the ministers were here, especially uh, the minister, uh, minister Francis for Internal Affairs, and said that as of today's date, I, uh, the country manager Daba Allen has been uh, eliminated from BMMC. Oh, the uh, the audience want to know, and the press want to know, what's the status of uh, the country manager currently? Now, members of the press, let me inform you on this. When the interministerial delegations came and they did their fight finding, they discovered that many of the counts were labor-related issues. So they decided to send the Ministry of Labor to come and work with the community members to carry on assessment and fight finding. And the chairman, Maurice Kiazulu, and I represented our community on our fight finding. We went to Kiamdebe, we went to the underground, we went to their process plan, and we worked with them two days. During that investigation, we was with them, and a few talkies that we was able to reach out to them. We hold them in custody and we brought them to the administrative building. We discovered that more than 185, I'm talking about those talkies that we were able to reach out to. So just think about, uh, we didn't reach to the, the night shift talkage, only those talkies that were present during the day shift hour. So think about that. And we also got information that most of them, they were taken to Weiju, they were taken to Lablama. 
So within that few period, two hours, we did five finding and one hundred eighty-five was caught. So they doesn't they they don't even have a work permit. So we was there and we told we made a recommendations to the the Ministry of Labour that you are, we have told you this many times and you say we are lying. There are people who are brains behind this and one is Mr. Jackson Yu who has been bringing Turkish illegally passing through the Longe Airport, Freetown to Liberia. So we recommended to them that those gentlemen be prosecuted as well. They are a major facilitator of that crime. So I, there's a follow-up question. The reason why I'm asking because you basically made mention of an alien, right? Yeah. And you were making some references to some surveillance being here, right? Yeah. So basically people who are viewing us through this medium, I, other people are out of the country, they are in Canada, America, and outside of the world. So if you say an alien, it means that people with black color. So that's why we were like concerned with regards to foreigners, like those guys of the white color. Okay, let's distinguish also know, that for you. Yeah, for us to know the exact numbers. Let me distinguish as, that yeah. before the chairman come. We have been complaining that Turkey, the influence of Turkey, have been a serious hindrance. Most of our brothers are not getting the work. And then we complain that this company has decided now, because I think these people do not want to benefit us. They have decided now not to bring Turkey any longer at this period where we are still protesting. They have decided to bring our own black brothers from different country, like Zambia, we got we got an information from a reliable source <coughs> that they have brought more than 200 Zambians currently, and they have distributed them to their various mining sites. So we have gone against that as well. Not only the Turkish, but aliens from every country in Liber around Liberia or in Africa. We are saying that if you want a job to be done, do your advertisement in the community. If those people cannot be found in the community, I think they are out of vocational schools in Liberia, like the BWR, like the MVTC. And there are people who have specialized themselves in truck driving, in heavy duty mechanic. So do that advertisement, but do not go out of Liberia to bring other nationals. We're not going to accept that. So our concern is not only about Turkey, but alien from every part of it. Okay, hey, Mr. Allen, stay here. Okay, so, uh, so uh, the, 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 the let, let, the let me just protest to what my colleague said. Uh, you see, in, in the MDA, section 13.1, it said the company, the company should train and hire. Because there's the first gold mine in the Republic of Liberia. So based on that, it said they should train us, the affected people, they should train us and hire us. So when you bring in technical people, they shouldn't do jo a job that the librarians can do. Definitely when you, you have librarians on the job, you, have, you bring a Turkish or, or, or Zambian, they're doing the same job, you, you pay them equally. And moreover, once we have a qualified librarian to do the job, you give the opportunity to them. That will raise the, the pressure even on the government. And they should monitor Section 13.1 in the MDA. We have to be free and implore. Thank you. Yeah, so my name is Jefferson Weir. I report for Liberia's only political block, San Liberia, and voice of District 17 in Monsurado. Uh, some two weeks ago, the uh, Inter-Ministerial Council was here headed by Minister uh, Francis Imali. Uh, during that uh, meeting with the community, uh, he, he, according to him, he was clear that if Deba Allen is the problem, Deba is out. One, I want to know whether Deba is totally out. Two, he also may mention, according to him, he had noticed that the community is drinking from or creek, uh, you know, river, running water, whatever, and that in 10 days, there will be, uh, I mean, a running water, like boreholes will be dug. Water treatment plan. Water treatment plan. Yeah. I mean, where are we? It's been over 10 days now. Where are we? Okay, so uh, we, the chairman, we throw light on that, but we want to emphatically say to you, members of the media, that we are not against the employment of aliens or foreign national. That's not what the people of Kinjo are saying. The reason why the difference between expats and those on the ground is that the chairman did uh, speak to them. The expat comes with extra, extra, extra knowledge yes, yes. and expertise to the job. You cannot have a Mohammed here driving truck, then you have a Turkish or you have a Zambian or Tanzanian driving the scene 
you know, truck. Then you pay the Liberian Morris, you pay him $400, and pay the Turkish or the Zambian or the, the, the other alien, you pay the 3000 It is totally again. That is what the chairman is trying to stress at. So sure. on the issue with the 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 the, the, the bore holes, the water treatment plant, the um chairman will throw light on that. But as far as we are concerned, according to uh, the people that the chairman is going to speak directly on that issue, and maybe the um, other members of the team here will also speak to that before we get to the public. Uh, thank you, Honorable Janeka. Uh, now, uh, the water treatment plant, what the minister uh, spoke on the, the past time, the thinking within 10 days, they, they start their job, but definitely the soil has been terminated. The pollution, we have the chemical water sitting on the soil for more than 10 years. So we're speaking to the company and that of the government <coughs> that even now boho, it is not safe for us. We need the sea water, the company new sea, let it run the pipe through the community, and they, they, they treat the water for us. We need safe drinking water like they have it in their, in their, comp in their compound. You see, now, uh, they told us about seven days that they will come, we sit on round table to discuss the 37 count because the, 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 the one count there, which is Deba Allen case, is on compromise. If you bring Deba back to King George today or B Mountain today, we know we start the, the protest the same day. We will not accept Deba today. We, we will not accept Deba tomorrow. Simply because Deba denied our right, denied to you know, fulfill the agreement between government and investor for good 10 years. Based on that, we don't need him. And now, let's go to the government. They, they gave us within seven days from the day they left from here up to now, the, 30, the 37 count. We not see nobody so that we can sit on, on the drawing table so that we can conclude on those matters. We have three dead bodies lying down in the cold, lying down in the funeral home. And up to now, we don't hear nothing about them. This caveat go to the government, they shouldn't take it for granted. Are you saying that the government is not taking in? Uh, and because we don't know, they gave us one week. Since they left from here, it passed. We're going to two, two, two weeks now. Three weeks. Just what my colleague said, within 72 hours, we will reassemble. And now they will not take off from there until we conclude on the 37 count. Why have the police okay, come so, after you? Uh, do you see protests to... as the only means of calling government attention? Yes, that's one of the major means. And for the concession side, once you embarrass a company, once you embarrass a company, the government will come quick for because... How long, for how long will you protest uh, until the government can listen to you? We, uh, uh, until we get resolved. That particular issue, until we get resolved before. If the, go if, if the government has come for us to resolve the 38 counts, we will not listen to anybody. We will embarrass a company operation until they can we resolve this issue on the table. Okay, so we, we are waiting to... Just from, uh, we'll keep now. Yeah, my question is, uh, the 38 counts uh, you've been mentioned of, the committee have been set up, several committee, the executive team, the legislature team, and that of the labor team, they have all done facts filing. They have made their reports on these issues. Okay. They only talk about one count that, one or two counts that it is not in conformity with the MTA. Which other round table do you want to have with uh, this, uh, with the law because of, of the committee of the government? Now, well, they told us that <coughs> all of the line ministries and agencies that are concerned with mining, that are concerned with the environmental issues, that are concerned with the Bureau of Concessions, all of those ministries and agencies will come and they will work with us to do fine finding. As I, as I speak to you, more than two weeks, we have only seen the Ministry of Labor. Where is the Bureau of Concession? Where is the Ministry of Justice? Where is the Environmental Protection Agency? So we have not seen any. So we are telling you that within 72 hours, if they cannot come to work with us to carry on an effective assessment, we will get by on the street. And let me tell you, Mr. Rogers, we're going to intensify this protest. We're not going to be black in this place so that Bear Mountain will use Gogoima to pass with their fuel. We are going to go to Danielstown. And this time around, our problems 
it will only affect the amount. But it will affect all government officials. You will now pass with black arrow until an amicable solution can be found. Yes, the government. Government. Yes. You have a government I'm sending this caveat. I'm not afraid. It's a caveat. It's a warning shout to them sure. that if they cannot poke into this matter, they cannot poke into it to find solution, we'll get by on the street and the protests will intensify. I'm saying this clearly. Oh, this is not a threat, gentlemen. We, we gotta be clear. It's a caveat to them. This is, look at the lives of our people here. We want to thank you, the media, for your support. But look at these people. They are Liberians. I told somebody, this is beyond politics. It's about the livelihood of the people. You sit there and you think that it been one month, three innocent promising young men die. We are yet to have a report from the Minister of Justice. The Chairman Mena Ryan and, 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 and the officials first person. You cannot have a system that the people trust. Then you have a company, a multi-million dollars company. These things cannot happen in Burkina Faso. They are there. They are in order. What is happening to this place? So this is not a threat to the government. But that's the reality. That's the reality. That there will be no entrance, there will be no exit. And that until the chairman said, we are not going on table to go talk. We are going on table to tell you, say, begin this, begin this, begin this. We're not threatening you. Honestly, these people need resort. The community need resort. No water, no school. Look at the place here. That school was here ever since. You see that school for Saturday? That old King Joy here. They are not going to school. We're talking to my mother and threatening. No, the chairman is We are not threatening. We are saying it is the constitutional right for the people to peaceful assembly. We were assemble. And that assemble, he said, you will black you, that many will black you. Until you deal with the people. Until you address those major counts. The 37, because you have already talked one from there. The 37, you must address it. So thank you so much. Thank you. We take our uh, honorable Adam B. Hens, and then we are about to uh, give a closer. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to this job. And Senezi resident, people of Great Cape Mount County, if you want this platform, then you need to talk. Because we are also on the rescue mission team. And as sitting before you, Honorable Adam Hins, serve as the former, former Tanchi, former Yun Chairman, and also contested at the representative seat for District 2. And my involvement in the protest is because my citizen, a citizen that I wanted to represent, three lost their life and 18 were wounded. And I will go in there to also talk for the same people. So if they are in problem, then I can talk to them. They are yes. I myself, I want to be on the protest day last week. So we also telling the rescue mission that we put them there for change. And we're telling them this protest is not taken for granted. We also representing them on the protest. And as you see the poor interest, because what the same people came to them to vote for cycle. the rescue team. So the vote of rescue team means Thank teachers. You. So we also talking to the government and to take this thing aside and to immediately take impact to solve the problem that the people of King George want. The poor Grand Cape Mackenzie want. So we give to them vote for rescue team. They will be the best and they will do the best for us. And in that region, although it was not in that region that I signed the soldier yet, but they were killed. And up to this time, no result of what is going on. The citizens of Grand Cayman County, the workers, are they enchanted? They are not satisfied. They are planning to take action. We need a government intervention within the shorter time. Please. Thank you very much. Okay, so, uh, how are you doing? My full name is Mama Amber Gray. Uh, let, me, let me be very, very frank with the media. We are in tears already. Now, there are a lot of things. 
ada mau close ya 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 I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry first of all there are a lot of things that have been overdue there are a lot of promises up to this time nothing and other the assessment that they made and they look at the other the 38 counts it, it never it never talk about travel it talk about the life of the citizen it talk about the life of the Liberians now even the, uh, the, tra uh, the, uh, the high school they said they were building, the vocational school they were supposed to put there, the people that were there, how that design supposed to be, why they brought it down. Now, for God in heaven's sake, eh, for God in heaven's sake, call some people here from the RAF. What is the agriculture uh, uh, program? The health, the education. There are a lot of things going on here which is very wrong. They talk about current. The first promise they told us, oh, in how much that bomb is beating, the place was going to be electrified. Now, they are sending boho here. They talk about the health workers, they talk about EPA, they talk about the labor, they talk about health. They are going to be in convoy for the team to be with them for, uh, for uh, good uh, assessment in the interest of the citizen. Why they fail to do this? Up to this time, we still have people lying up. This is bad for us. It's not a threat that we are sending to the government, but we are speaking to them as a citizen because our taxes pay them. Okay, also, with that one minute, the chairman will conclude. Because there are, I mean, all the sports person, there are workers here that BMMC has started. They have already fired them because of their involvement. So the official sports person will conclude on that. But we want to say this. This protest has nothing to do with trouble. There's no trouble segregation. Let it be clear. There is no trouble segregation. What we are protesting here for all of them are going to be built right here in Gola Konen. <laughs> Let the people know that. It is the cause of the people, and we must abolish, and we must not even one day cross our mind that this is a trouble issue. No. No, 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 no. This is about the livelihood of the people. Thank you, Sir Chairman. You can just conclude, then we'll call your deal. Thank you. Okay, in closing, this message is going directly to the HR superintendent, B.M. Mountain, <coughs> a man who we protested for more than four days, four nights, so that we can give job to him and his family, Thompson Boyman Dablo. Since this protest, we have not antagonized Thompson. Include Jibre, the HR manager. Yeah, I, I will speak about Jibre. Thompson, you are the HR superintendent. Nobody is antagonizing you. But you and your boss, Jibre, Oliver Jibre, you have started to dismiss our people. You dismissed Maurice Masekwe for a Facebook page wherein he criticized you. Where I think the law will never take that into consideration. If you have issue with someone that are that job related issues, take them to it's a civil matter. Take them to court. Sheikh Sony also told you to dismiss or suspend Sajuma Masale. And HR did that as well. Apart from that, you dismissed one Abraham from construction. So we are telling Thompson, he is one of us. We made him today. We provided a job for him. So today, if he can turn his bike on the citizens, we do not have bad intent. But we are telling him to be in the confines of the law. Let those guys be reinstated. I'm saying clearly to Thompson. Let those three guys be reinstated. It is their immunity, let them enjoy. So we we'll continue our protest within 72 hours if government cannot respond in a timely manner. So ladies and gentlemen of the press, uh, members of King George, citizens of Grand Cape Mount County and the Republic of Liberia, we say bravo to you for coming for this press conference. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, guys, I'm um, Francis Kedi Koko. That was the voice of the spokesperson, Mr. Kia Tamba. And we are right here in King Jokola, Colonel District, Grand Cape Mount Mountain. And this is how we conclude this press conference.